Sorry I'm late. A principal in a bazooka shark's jersey stopped me in the hall, ate my entire bag lunch, and then told me my mama's cooking sucks. Things are getting a little hot for me, boys. But as long as we all stick together, you'll be able to absorb some of that heat. Follow me? I don't think so. I said it in a weird way. Picture this. The whole town is freezing me out, boys. We can't help you, Steve. We're huge Johnny Concussion fans. What? Johnny has a half-Asian girlfriend, and I respect the hell out of that. The dad is Asian, Steve. Do you understand that? Is this the, the, the girlfriend's parents' wedding photo? I mean, is this sold in stores? This is the dad. Here we are at the museum. Wonderful! And you owe me nothing for the ride, since you won't let me turn the meter on. Right, 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 right. You need paying customers to pay me back. Right, obviously. I'll get out of your hair. 138 and Lex. So you drive a cab, huh? That's cool. I love to dance. I love to feel people's eyes on me. I had a little bit to drink tonight. Ah. Oh. Long Island iced teas, right? They're so sweet. But the boys keep buying them for me. If my fiance knew, he'd kill all of them. He's Dominican. He's crazy. The sex is good, though. He calls me his little chihuahua. When I was a kid, my dad beat the shit out of me. Hey, thanks for reaching out to us. Happy to have you on our show. Well, I just wanted a chance to tell my side of the story. I think you're doing the right thing. Welcome back to The Fist, Langley's home for sports radio, where I'm joined by Steve Smith, the little bastard who tricked Johnny Concussion into retiring. Oh, what? Can you pinpoint the exact moment you decided to destroy the very fabric of this community? I wasn't trying to destroy anything. He, he was wandering around in a daze. Because you drugged him. No! I didn't give Johnny any drugs. Because you needed them all for yourself. If you're just joining us, Steve Smith is here, and he's high on the drugs he was planning to use on Johnny Concussion. None of that is true! I just helped a guy who was in bad shape. Any decent person would have done it. Mike in Lanston, what's your two cents? Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's too bad the boy's on drugs because I want him to feel what I'm going to do to him. Strong take, Mike. Stay on the line. We're going to hook you up with some laser rats tickets. Oh, my God, I'm going to the rat hive. Randy, what do you think of Steve Smith? Hate him. Want to murder him. No one needs to die. Not me, not Johnny. It's just a game. Just a game? Really? was World War II just a game. My grandfather was born in the 40s, so I find what you're suggesting deeply offensive. Caller, can you reason with this animal? Steve Smith is a scumbag. Mom? I'm done. This town has gone completely insane. If anyone wants to continue the conversation, Steve will be leaving by our southeast exit in about 30 seconds. Hurry up! Where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go? Me too! That's the boy we agreed to kill! Ah! Dad! Drive the boy towards me! It's fine. First time throwing a bolo, not gonna beat myself up for missing. It's important to try new weapons. Can I help you? Is it possible to mail a human to the other side of the world? It is the policy of packages, etc., to not ship humans. But since you are not human, but in fact human garbage, I'd love to put you in a box. All right, you said your piece. Just ship me. How does overnight sound? Probably my best chance of getting there alive. Well, that's not how you're going. Phew, just a white devil. Everyone can go back to handing each other different fruits. Okay, Steve. This is your only chance to make a first impression. I'm here! Where are you from, Box Boy? I come from a land far, far away. Many moons across the great sea. A place called America. I know where the United States is. We're not primitives. Oh, you'll need to get fitted for a dick pouch. No need. I'm exactly the size of a C battery. Boy, this is great. 
I'm getting away from a very fraught situation, so chilling out and enjoying a little island life is just what I need. On this island, everybody works. Baskets. Hmm. So, what am I, the distribution guy? Get them into stores? No, no, you make the baskets. I don't have any training. I I'm still kind of a little boy. Come on, it's easy. Over, under, over, under. If I could give you some criticism, it's a little small. Also, it took you three months. Oh, uh, while I got you here, Magunga, I wanted to put in a vacation request. Huh, when were you thinking? Any couple of days within the next... Can't do it. I hadn't seen my brother in months. Almost forgotten his face. The streets were becoming my brother. You paid me off two days ago. You don't have to keep driving. But I did have to keep driving. Because as I was saying, the streets were becoming my brother. It had been days since Haley watched Master Chef Junior with me. I told her I'd wait for her. But I didn't. I couldn't. Peyton made a souffle. Eight years old, making a souffle. Imagine that. Okay, can I just say something? I know one of you ate my fish, and it's bumming me out a little bit because I wrote my name on it. Ah, oh, I just bent a reed on my base stitch. Is it me, or is management giving us a lot of dry reeds lately? Forget work! The volcano's active! Oh, will it kill us all? That might be nice. If you're looking to sacrifice a virgin, your prayers have been answered. No, it's boulder pushing season. Every time the volcano erupts, each village sends their strongest man, and they race to push a boulder into it. Does that, like, stop it from exploding? No, it's just fun! Micah's from our village. Hey, I've seen him around. I'm Team Micah! Volcano is so steep. I can't believe how strong they are. Uh oh, our boy's in trouble. Oh no! Yeah, Micah! Kill him! everyone is. And why? Because they're not basket weaving. I get it now. People spend all day at work. The daily grind, the rat race, the old punch in, punch out. And the only relief is the promise of the weekend. When you get together with your sad friends, numb yourself with enough vodka to kill a horse, and watch an athlete do the physically impossible or get gravely injured trying. And that's where you come in, Johnny Concussion. Will you strap on the pads again? Be the shiny something that distracts us from our crappy lives? They tell me that's the ball from my first touchdown. Okay, kid, I'll do it. But what about my dead brain? Okay, kid, I'll do it. That's my Johnny. Another late hit. Johnny really has him frustrated. You did a good thing getting Johnny back on the field, Steve. Thanks, Dad. And I'm sorry your job makes you so sad. What? You're shaking to the left! You're 
Jumbotron!